Photon is one of the biggest names here in the Philippines when it comes to large commercial trucks. But did you know that they also have a mid-size pickup truck? Yes sir, this one right here. You see, this is the Photon Thunder 2.0 4x2 automatic and in this video, we get to check it out. Let's do this. When it comes to pickup trucks, Photon usually doesn't make the shortlist of brands that come to mind. When you say Photon, we usually think of large commercial trucks and to a certain extent, passenger vans and e-jeepneys for public transport. So when the Photon Thunder 2.0 was unveiled, it would be normal to think that this would be a no-frills truck. Pang harabas in Tagalog. I mean, for an asking price of 1,350,000 Philippine pesos, it is priced like a pang harabas mid-size pickup truck. So imagine my surprise when I took delivery of this media unit and I got to see its gorgeous interior. I mean, dude, it is beautiful. But can the Photon Thunder 2.0 deliver in the areas that matter the most? Or is it just a superficial beauty? Let's find out. Here at Reagan's Rides, we do car reviews of SUVs, sports cars, trucks, and everything in between. So subscribe and hit the bell. So, this is my first Photon Media Landout. And I gotta say guys, I didn't really know what to expect. See, I know that Photon is a large truck maker and most of their vehicles are really meant for pangharabas. I mean, they even have a harabas series in their truck lineup, which I also got to review by the way, like uh, over a year ago. And I also got to do a quick test drive of that. Now, I didn't borrow it though. <laughs> Because, dude, that is a light commercial truck and uh, yeah, there's no way I'm going to daily, around the city, a light commercial vehicle. Now, in fact, it's, you know, it's funny. When my wife found out that our media land out for this week, for this review, is a photon, yeah, uh, <laughs> she got a bit scared. <laughs> she was like, no, 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 I'm not going to drive a Photon truck. And I had to explain to her that it is a mid-sized pickup truck and not a light commercial vehicle. Now, since Photon has had 15 years of manufacturing experience uh, with their commercial trucks, and they do make their trucks in Clark, Pampanga, then it would be safe to assume that they know a thing or two about building durable and reliable trucks. And dude, you can feel it in the drive. This Photon Thunder 2.0 has an 8-speed automatic transmission that has been tuned like a commercial truck. I mean, as in, it is, it really feels like a commercial truck. You see, we get tons of grunt uh, in the low gears, in the first and second gear, and you can feel that this mid-sized pickup truck really likes to pull and pull hard. Now the 2.0 liter turbo diesel engine here is also completely developed by Photon. I mean, they used to, well, they used to, well, they still source uh, their uh, diesel engines from Cummins, at least for their for their commercial vehicles. But this mid-sized pickup truck, the engine of this truck has been completely developed in-house. Now you can tell uh, that they've learned a lot from their partnership with Cummins because the diesel engine here is smooth and a tad bit quieter than the, you know, than the Japanese mid-sized pickup trucks that I also got to test out. However, it's uh, not as quiet or as refined as let's say the the, the next-gen Ford Ranger, I mean, that is the benchmark for quietness when it comes to the diesel engine. Good thing though is the, yeah, this Photon Thunder also has quite the powerful turbo diesel here, 
with 161 horsepower on tap and 380 newton meters of torque. I'm going to show you a little bit of that power. I'm going to pop it in sport mode now. See? You could hear the diesel noise as you accelerate and we are now in illegal speeds territory. We have to just slow down. I love that. I love that, dude. It's, um, it's a nice, meaty, grunty sound. Is that even the word grunty? <laughs> grunty diesel sound. And you do know that you are in a manly mid-sized pickup truck. Now, I'm pretty sure there are gonna be some doubters in the comments section, guys. Especially when it comes to the durability or even the spare parts availability of this Photon Thunder. Now, I did say that this vehicle is manufactured in Clark, Pampanga. So, uh, yeah, even if it's a Chinese truck brand, well, it is still proudly made in the Philippines. Now, Photon also has a large stockpile of spare parts, which can be accessed through their, uh, uh, what do we call that, uh, Easy Parts program. Now, yeah, I'm sure those people who are doubters in the comments, they're probably the patriots, <laughs> the nationalists, you know, in the comments section. So if you are a patriot doubter about the Photon uh, Thunder, well, do keep in mind that this, my friend, is manufactured in the Philippines. It's proudly made in the Philippines. Now, as for the looks, the Thunder 2.0 has some design cues here that seem to take inspiration from other mid-size pickup trucks. I mean, take the front grille, for example. I mean, this, my friends, seems like it was inspired by the front grille of the Ford Ranger Raptor. Now, as for the headlight assembly design as well as the hood, well, it kind of reminds me of the Toyota Hilux. However, the front bumper is unique to the Thunder, so I would give it that. Now, when you put it all together, well, it comes together as a good and macho look with LED DRLs here, although the headlight and the fog light units are still in halogen. The side profile is that of a typical mid-size pickup truck here, although the Thunder 2.0 doesn't get any palabok, uh, like uh, roof rails or sports bars or what have you. Uh, instead, we keep things practical here with a pair of step boards and a set of 18-inch alloy wheels. Now, behind those wheels, we get four-wheel disc brakes, which uh, kind of surprised me for its price category. And uh, as for the suspension, well, it rides on double wishbones up front and uh, leaf springs at the back. Now, the ground clearance uh, stands at 220 millimeters, which is a little bit on the low side. Although, dude, to be honest, I mean, this is a workhorse truck and not a, an off-roading lifestyle pickup truck. Okay, so this is where the Photon Thunder 2.0 steps up to take your money. Because, dude, we get a workhorse truck here at a workhorse truck's price level. But, dude, this interior belongs to a lifestyle pickup truck. I mean, seriously, it is a bit of a shock to me uh, because... Wow, we get such a pleasant cabin here. It's, uh, it's, it's something that would probably even belong in a crossover, in fact. I mean, we get quilted leather seats here for, for your seats, and the driver's seat even gets power adjustment. Now, we also have a leather-wrapped steering wheel here that even comes with, dude, paddle shifters. Now, of course, this wheel also adjusts for tilt and telescoping. So, yeah, that is another pleasant surprise there. And even the gauge cluster itself looks like it belongs to a crossover. I mean, we get a color digital panel there in the middle. And, uh, yeah, it just looks so upscale. Now, as for the infotainment system, we do have a 10.25-inch touchscreen panel here. Uh, that comes with the image of a reverse camera. However, dude, uh, the connectivity is only Bluetooth here. We don't get CarPlay, we don't get Android Auto. 
but seriously for the price I ain't complaining at all man as in I ain't complaining at all <laughs> now we also have a single zone fully automatic climate control setup here that even comes with seat warmers I was surprised with that we have seat warmers here and uh, some physical knobs and buttons for your infotainment system and uh, we also have a pair of cup holders here which I will subject to my 600 ml clean canteen test as you can see it easily passes my clean canteen test I mean it passes with flying colors now to, yeah, to round it off, we even have an electronic part brake here with an auto hold function. I mean, dude, a mid-sized pickup truck at this price level usually gets a manual handbrake, but we have an electronic part brake here with an auto hold, which makes it so con convenient. I mean, we also have uh, ambient lighting here in the footwell area, which you can change colors and uh, I, I admit it is a bit gimmicky, uh, but it also adds to that premium factor of this cabin. Now, uh, aside from that dude, we also have some faux carbon fiber here on the middle dashboard. We also have some more quilted leather patterns in the door cards. And yes, this cabin, dude, this freaking cabin punches way above its weight which is great but it can get confusing when you go out for a drive i mean the thunder really feels and drives like a commercial truck yet the cabin belongs to a crossover uh, it feels big and macho and sturdy when you drive it yet the cabin is soft and pampering you know it got me confused uh, when I first drove this truck, uh, but in a good way, in a good way. See, the drive feel itself is quite good. The steering is perfectly weighted. It's not too light, it's not too heavy. It's the Goldilocks of steering feel. It's, um, you know, it's balanced, it feels balanced, and the steering response is pretty sharp for a truck. Now, I did say that we also have paddle shifters here, which surprised me because the paddles are also very responsive dude they're as responsive as any you know as any crossover or sedan that's equipped with paddle shifters now we also have an eco mode and a sport mode here although to be honest with you i don't really see much change in terms of performance uh, between the two so yeah i just kept it in sport mode uh, most of the time. Now as for the safety features, well the Thunder delivers a standard set right here. Fuel economy is also pretty decent. I got around 13.3 kilometers per liter in mixed driving conditions. The NVH is also, well, also average for a mid-sized pickup truck. Little bit of wind noise at speed, although yeah, keep your speed at 70 or 80 kilometers per hour and it is pretty quiet. However, that diesel noise really just penetrates the cabin. I mean, dude, it penetrates the cabin, but not in an annoying way. I mean, it, uh, it, re it reminds you that you are still driving a workhorse, diesel-fed, mid-size pickup truck. And as for the ride quality, dude, let's go check out the back. The, the ride here in the back seat of the Thunder 2.0 is nice and smooth as long as uh, you stay in smoothly paved highways. However, when you go on uneven cement roads or let's say uh, bumpy areas, uh, then the ride can get a tad bit jittery as what you'd expect from any mid-size pickup truck that's equipped with a leaf spring. Now, what surprised me though is the amount of space that I have here at the back seat because this is a nice and wide space, it's pretty comfortable in fact, and it's a little bit bigger than uh, some of the Japanese uh, mid-size pickup trucks out there. However, if you're looking for amenities here at the back, well, you will be a little bit disappointed because we don't have anything here uh, unless you count the quilted uh, leather inserts on the door cards as amenities because personally, I don't count them as, as amenities, dude. <laughs> now, uh, well, 
at least the, the sound quality from the speakers of the Photon Thunder 2.0 is above average. I mean, dude, I was really surprised because these uh, speakers really sound so good. I mean, yeah, it's above average, much better than the other mid-size pickup trucks in its price category. When it comes to the payload capacity, well, the Thunder 2.0 can haul up to a ton of cargo without breaking a sweat. Now, as you can see, we do have a nice and wide truck bed here because this is a wide truck. Although the length of the truck bed itself is a tad bit shorter uh, than the other contenders in the category. Now, as for the lift gate design here, well, there are some people who say that it's a little bit too busy and over-designed. Although, in my opinion, dude, yeah, I like this look. I mean, I find it unique and uh, upscale, in fact. You see, we have this matte gray finish in the middle of the lift gate here with a large photon lettering, and it goes quite well with a nifty-looking LED taillight assembly here. You see, when you put it all together, this tailgate design here uh, looks really upscale and it makes the Thunder 2.0 look like it's more expensive than what its price would suggest. The Photon Thunder 2.0 is a workhorse truck that wants to offer so much more for a lot less. It's telling us that despite its life purpose as a pangharabas vehicle, it doesn't mean that creature comforts and tech features should be sacrificed. Photon has always been known as a commercial truck maker, but with the arrival of this new Thunder 2.0, it seems that Photon will also make a name for itself in the mid-size pickup truck category. Thanks for watching.